Now, I love a good underdog story because the dark horses in sport always make the stories so much more compelling. That's the thing about it. Anything is possible. It's where dreams are realized. Yesterday, it was the same for the Afghans who created history at the Cricket World Cup. Now, what makes it more glorious for them is the backdrop against which the men rose. For a country that's in constant turmoil and chaos, sports has become a new beacon of hope. A way of feeling joy and a sense of triumph that helps them look beyond suffering and violence and provides stories of inspiration and a fight to survive. Taliban's takeover in 2021 has wiped out lives and that cruelty is going to leave a permanent cognitive stain on the residents. But what they also affected was the cricket in the country. We've seen that everywhere with the wars and Afghanistan is another country facing the consequences of it. So much so that its ICC membership was at stake. Its cricket board council became non-existent. Sponsors pulled out, leaving cricketers with no monetary assistance. Despite all odds, it was like a breath of fresh air for them last night. Today, we look at the genesis and the journey of Afghanistan cricket. The sport started here during the 1830s, but it was not until the 1990s that the sport gained traction given its colonial history. After Soviet Union's invasion, many natives sought refuge in Pakistan. Much of cricket trickled down to the generations owing to that allegiance. And it's still running fresh in their veins. From there to now making heads turn in the apex cricket tournament in the world to register only the second win in World Cups. Who could have thought that was possible? Now, the country's National Cricket Board was established in 1995. And six years later, its cricket team was formed. Then ICC granted affiliate membership status to Federation the same year. They played their first ever ODI match against Scotland in 2009. And since then, the team has taken part in regular international tours. It gets exposure to play with the top teams across the world. They are a stronger T20 international outfit, however. They are ranked number 10 in the world in the ICC rankings and have some notable achievements in this format. Like in the 2016 World Cup, when Afghanistan stunned the champions West Indies. In 2010, Afghanistan secured a spot in the ICC World T20 by winning the qualifiers in Dubai, defeating Ireland. Now let's compare their T20i records to the ones in the ODI format. If you just look at their win percentage alone, in T20s, it's a staggering 65%. They've won 68 out of the 104 matches that they've played. While in ODIs, it's a slightly skewed number. It's 48%. Clearly, they are a more prolific T20i outfit. That's because of their flamboyant style of play. Some of the key members of their lineup, like Rashid Khan, Mujibur Rahman, Mohammad Nabi, Rahmanullah Gurbaz now, are key members of T20 outfits in leagues across the world, particularly Rashid. That's why these men are more than just cricketers to their ravaged country. They are heroes, a symbol of what lies beyond the despondency of their state. They represent a positive future, a possibility of what lies ahead. That's why guys like Rashid Khan and many other senior performers on the side think of giving something back to their country, their community, through these wins. They're currently playing the World Cup even as an earthquake took its toll on their homes and their friends. And as their coach enlightened us, although they were focused to perform here, their mind was always there with their fellow folk, suffering back home. And that's what makes this achievement significant. Because for Afghanistan, it isn't just a match that they have won. They are winning to give hope. Hope of something better out there to grasp and hold on to. An inspiration for future generations of taking up the dream of playing cricket as a way to break away from all the chaos that reigns in those parts. And if Afghanistan created an upset. It's not the only team that did so at World Cups. Here are some other squads that pulled off stunning victories and massive upsets over the years. Take a look. Now after yesterday's shocker of a match, it's time for a flashback of the greatest upsets over the years. Ireland have punched above their weight twice in this aspect. One, unarguably, is when they won against England in 2011. Kevin O'Brien ruled and Ireland chased down that massive 328-run target. Then, it was Pakistan in 2007. The Irish men wrapped up a match on their national holiday with a win. Pakistan went crashing out of the World Cup in disdain. A revised target of 127 via the Duckworth-Lewis method worked wonders for Ireland. India's upset came in 2007 when they played Bangladesh. Saurav Ganguly's 66-run contributions went in vain. India was knocked out and Dravid ended up in tears.
That upset handed by Bangladesh was buoyed again in 2011. This time, it was England who were at the behest of Bangladesh's power play. Shafiul Islam was Bangladesh's light at the end of the tunnel. Shafiul and Mahmudullah pulled off 57 in 62 balls. England were pushed to a must-win match against the West Indies. In 2003, the 26th match between Kenya and Sri Lanka at Nairobi. It was the perfect underdog story that we look for. Kenya made the most out of playing in their home soil. Sri Lankan spinner Murali Dharan wrecked Kenya's batting lineup, and Kenya's leg spinner Collins Uboya exacted revenge. Despite a low run target of 211 in 50 overs, Sri Lanka failed to meet it. It was a true masterclass on fielding and bowling by Kenya. It's the dream of every cricketer. The ultimate glory. Few manage to keep their date with destiny. But for many, it's been heartbreaks and a cross to bear. The Holy Grail is here in India. I'm Rupa Ramani and First Post brings you the ringside view. We bring you the Cup of Dreams. Cricket World Cup coverage like never before.